hi hi. That is actually not only a trick of the ego, that is uh, one of the lowest level tricks of the ego. When you just really enter, you fall in love with the shay and you just think it's just me and the shay. No one else gets it, only me and the shay. Shay of anyone, you and me. And person believes, yeah, you and I, only I and him. They believe, they believe, they believe. And then one day, Shavin is going to wash him up. Suddenly, everything is finished. They break. And the idea is, I thought it's only the two of us. I thought we have understanding. I thought we're buddies. What happened? Now you're saying I'm like this <laughs> to you too. You start doing that. There's in so many who kiss Shaf and his hands and feet. After a while, Shaf and he just poked them a little bit because your ego is so puffed up like a balloon. One little needle poking like that, they explode. And they turn around and they start cursing at him. This is normal. We've seen it happening for decades. Decades we've seen it happening. And so, it's one of the biggest tricks of the ego then to say, it's only me and the Shaykh. Nobody else gets it. I don't like anyone. Nobody likes me. Only I like the Shaykh. Bre, the Shaykh is not your buddy. He is a Shaykh. And one day, the Shaykh may draw you close. One day, he's going to push you very far away. Who are you to say, why are you doing this to me? There were certain days, the Sahabi Kiram, they were so close to the Prophet and there were times the Sahabi Kiram, they have to be very, very far away from him. They submit. These ones, they are saying, no, because we write a contract. You always have to have me by your side. One day the Shaykh will say, come. Next day the Shaykh is going to say, go. One day the Shaykh is going to say, open. Next day the Shaykh is going to say, close. There are reasons for that. But if you are not looking to see through the eyes of your Shaykh, then your Shaykh is Shaytan. And Shaytan is going to give you the reasons. And that time the Shaytan will give you every reason. As you found 1,000 reasons to love your Shaykh, Shaytan will find you 1 million reasons to hate him. You hate him, everything. From the way he sits, to the way he talks, to every, the way he eats, everything you're going to hate. Because your heart has turned. And so, one thing we can say, Alhamdulillah, that through Shaykh and his training, and so many of you are witnesses here, he never really took me for a buddy, <laughs> someone that he's close to. So many times, in fact, he's showing. Uh, so, some people, their motivation is different. It's not to show that you are so close to the Shaykh. It's more that you're running just to please him, because it seems that he's never pleased. And even if he's a little bit pleased, you say, no, 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 I must do more. And you're not really satisfied. And then they let you to be like that too. It's not really necessary for them also to bring you close to them. It's okay. Depends on what you want. It's okay. Allah save us from that kind of illusion and delusion. Inshallah Rahman. You cannot be the only one. That is what shaitan says. I'm the only one who gets who gets it. I'm the only one who knows what is la ilaha illallah. I'm the only one who knows how to prostrate. Everyone else is wrong. Because the Lord is doing that to me and uh, we have an understanding. No. Ah, what can we do? This is as Chef Andy would say all the time. You know, people. These people. Welcome to those who come. Farewell to those who leave. Uh, am I asking my share to punish, to take revenge? No. I have my work. So many people, not this time, so many times earlier, they strained us also, people who love you. One day they wanted to kiss your hand, they are rushing to kiss your feet. Then the next day, they are rushing to, if they have a chance, they're going to step all over you. Well, people, you know. 
But we don't, we're not busy with that because Shaykh Fani had given us a job. If Shaykh Fani is not giving you anything, then you're going to be busy with all that talk and cursing and everything because you have nothing else to do. The work that you have, you're not doing anyway. You're dropping it. Uh, it's like the master is pointing you to be a dog. You are his dog. But instead of going to collect the uh, hunt the prey and to bring to the master, they went and they eat the prey. They're watching. But if you eat the prey, you are eating haram. And we are watching the effects of that haram. One of the effects of eating the haram is that you don't have any fear in your heart. You don't have any fear. There is no uh, fear and doubt, am I doing something wrong? Then you're going to check, you're going to sit, and you're going to understand, you're going to read through every sign. You become very, the heart has become closed now. You say, nope, I'm 100%. As the race of the House of Osman had prayed for us last November when we went, do you remember? Do you remember? You still have the recording? We are going to release it. He's saying what? May all the children of what? Ah, you forget. Ah. He's saying very beautiful dua. He said in Arabic. He's, I asked him, can you pray for us? And he's prayed for us, for our jamaat. And one of the things that he said, may all the children of haram be what? be away from us. So, this is what they're praying for. And we're asking our Shaykh, inshallah, to make us to become useful and to make us to step always on the certainty that he has put and for his feet to be on our necks. Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum.